Welcome to the Telegraph Cars Review of the Year. We're going to be talking about SUVs. It's a really complicated uh, section. I don't know where to one. start. Difficult category because we've got compact, we've got mid-size, we've got full-blown Range Rover and Porsche Cayenne. We have. So should we start with compact? Is that okay. the best way to do this? Yes. So um, compact SUV, we've got... Nissan Qashqai. See, now I would call that... That's a mid. Yeah, that's yeah, a mid. Okay. See, this is... Even we're Voxel confused. Mocha. Vauxhall Mocha, that's a compact. I think that's quite a cool little car. Do you? Yeah. I, I think there are better cars in that class. I mean, the Nissan Duke's an obvious one. I actually don't think that's the class leader either. You've got Jeep Renegade. Mazda CX-3 is pretty good. That's a good car. That would be very popular. Quite small on the inside mm -hmm. for that kind of car, but mm -hmm. it is good. It's lovely to drive. Sangyong Tivoli. I reviewed that and it was interesting. What do yes. you Yes. Yeah. I, I, I'm struggling to get excited by this class, I'm afraid. <laughs> I like the large 4x4s. I like oh, big okay. Range Rovers and KNs. But for those of you who aren't snobs, the Sangyong <laughs> Tivoli, it's about 13 grand it starts at, and it, it's a lot of car for the money. Best small SUV. You pick, and I'll agree. I'm going to say the Mazda. Maybe. Mazda oh, CX3. actually, yeah, I think the Mazda. Yeah, okay, Mazda CX3. Now we're going to go to mid size. Mid size. Nissan Qashqai. Porsche Macan. What I love about the Macan is that it actually handles like a sports car. Mid-size SUV, I think uh, Discovery Sports in with a shout here. Land Rover Discovery Sport. I agree, This is yes. the Freelander replacement. It's mm -hmm. got seven seats, yep. but it's not too big. Mm -hmm. It goes against the Audi Q5 yep. and the Volvo XC60. Mm -hmm. I really like that car. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, it's very yeah. good. And then we must also mention the other SUV that's coming soon, which is the Bentley <gasps> Bentayga, the world's fastest, probably most expensive SUV. And it think? has the most expensive luxury option a clock by Breitling for a hundred and ten thousand this is true right Chris we are going to have to pick some winners now we are okay so uh, let's remind ourselves best compact SUV we said was the Mazda CX-3 best mid-size we're going for Nissan Qashqai, Qashqai slash Renault Qajar yeah the same car yeah yeah the best mid-size premium Land Rover Discovery Sport. Sport, seven seat, very mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you would like something more sporty, then it's the Porsche Macan. Okay, agreed. Uh, and then we've got large SUV, which we are saying... Range Rover. Volvo XC90. Uh, sorry, Volvo XC90, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll hardly a, agree. Volvo XC90. Okay, so if you're a family and you want something which is reliable and safe and does what it says on the tin, it's got to be the Volvo. I agree. Mm -hmm. Volvo? Yes.